I want to talk a minute about her suggestion for reading deprivation. So she wrote this book 25 years ago, and now she is changing the reading deprivation to media, media deprivation, which includes no TV, no movies, no music with lyrics, no emailing, no texting. So obviously that's asking an awful lot. I'm assuming also would be on that list, uh, no talk radio, but I can't be sure of that, but I'm pretty sure that would probably be part of it. Um, if, if you can do this, if you can go a week without these um, outward forms of expression or listening to others' ideas, you would have a profound uh, confrontation with yourself um, in a way that would uh, trump just about anything else in this course or maybe even anything else in your life. Now, um, it would also lead to profound change and to an inner peace and inner silence. I think obviously from the tone of my little video clip here, um, I did not do this. Um, I recommend it, but I think that it's asking an awful lot and I'm certainly not expecting it of any of us. Again, I'm sure it would be helpful if you can do it, um, but I didn't do it. <laughs> But on the other hand, I don't have a lot of media stimulation in my life as a rule. Um, it's part of why I moved all the way up here. Um, I don't, I do occasionally, well, I do often watch movies, British movies usually, or British TV. I will watch that, like, like taped stuff, but I don't watch uh, regular commercial TV, and I'm really grateful for that. Um... I think that obviously the more you can tune out the outside world, the more room and space the inside world has to talk to you. And again, I'm sure, I'm, there's no doubt that this is a great idea. However, I'm not expecting it from any of us. So I just want to be clear about what her expectations are and what my expectations are. And I will see you guys in class on Wednesday night.